Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, it's going to be very fundamental where I let you know how exactly to print string using MIPS instructions with QtSpin. Uh, we need to print string at times, right? We may want to print the string, please enter the first value, enter the second value. What do you want to do, addition or subtraction? Here you go with the result. These kind of statements are pretty common when you write code. And in C programming, it is very easy for you. You can use printf and in uh, uh, C++ you will go with C out and that's that's pretty easy for you to go ahead with it, right? But in uh, assembly language programming in MIPS, it's a slightly difficult thing, but it's not as tough. So we'll go ahead with the procedure to understand how do you print strings using MIPS. I'm going to explain you step by step and as usual, I need text assembler directive which is to be included and I am having main as a global function which can be accessed from anywhere. And what is the message that I want to print and I want to print a message which is called Sriram YouTube. Remember, we need to use the ASCII Z assembler directive, which will create ASCII string in memory, which is terminated by null character. Remember, this is mandatory. I need to use ASCII as ASCII Z assembler directive, which will create an ASCII string in memory, and it will be terminated by null term, null character. So see that this is the thing that I want to print Sriram YouTube with an exclamation mark and null terminator is used slash and new new line is used now most important point to remember is i need to have double quotes here this is the string that i want to print and i used ascii z directive for it and it's it's named as message i can call this message this is a pointer to the string now what do we do let's go into the code we are going to the code where i use li b0 comma 4 in the previous code or whatever codes we have seen we have used b0 with 10 that 10 is nothing but the code for system call which is to exit. 10 when we use there will be a smooth exit and that's what we have seen. But when we use 4, what is it? Very simple. We need to use 4 system call to run the print string system call. When you load 4, the code tells that we need to use the print string system call and it will print the content which you want to print on the console. We are going to see that and we need to load the value 4 into the b0 register once it is done part of the work is over now what is the next step to do we need to use la you can see that la with a0 message this is nothing but the pointer to the string what is the pointer to the string here you can see that this is the pointer to the string and we have to use a0 to get this loaded here that's all we have connected the message into a0 we have called the printing mode and we are running the code once you run the code, whatever you have here can be printed with ease. And I'm going to show you the demo for the same thing. Can you see the demo? I have opened the Qt Spim simulator. I mean assembler. I am reinitializing it. Let me load the file. File name is string print. I need to search it appropriately. Yeah, that's loaded. You can see that nothing is there. I need to enable the console so that I can see the console. Can we go ahead and run it? Yes, it's time to run it. You can see that Sriram YouTube has been printed out here. That's all, it's very easy. So the only thing that you need to remember is you need to call the appropriate method, appropriate system call. With four, you can call the print underscore string and we are passing this message appropriately into A0 and the instruction used is LA. Remember it and we have explained you this during the instruction set explanation where I explained you all the load and store instructions that are available. So go and recollect it if you have any questions there. And that's it. We have run it and it's very easy to learn. Thank you very much for following my channel content. If you have any questions, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. If you like the channel, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.